Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Boring by Kathleen Miller. Today, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. And you're in for a beautiful ride. So, I am doing a drizzle bloom today on an 8-inch hexagon, which I've never done a hexagon drizzle bloom before. So this ought to be interesting. Yeah, it, they must measure the eight inches by the, by the edges because it's certainly yeah. much bigger than eight inches across. Exactly. So um, I'm going to uh, do my base color in teal, which is my house paint color place from Walmart. And it is ready to use white and satin in parentheses. And I just take my golden fluid acrylics and dump it in my cup with my paint to get the color that I want. Now you can make this darker or lighter. It's up to you. I just make it to my likings and there's nothing in that. There's no silicone, there's no glue, there's no water. It's just my house paint all by itself with its friend Golden Fluid Acrylics. So on to my drizzle which is Snapdragon, which is Primary Elements pigment, Spanish Moss and Olive Vine pigment, Jasmine pigment. Here we have the Iridescent Green Blue by PBO, Fiery Red and Brilliant Red by Arteza, and Blue Vi uh, Violet by Amsterdam. For my bloom, I'm doing Pulmeria pigment, Gold Sparkle pigment, Orange, Red, and Pearl Papaya by Arteza. Hot Cinnamon Pigment. Sunburst Pigment. And Guatemalan Green Pigment. They are made up of 15 mLs of um, Vivid Enamel and 15 mLs of my Rust-Oleum Triple X polyurethane. So... Well, Kathy I, has a video, number 248, for that recipe. So I'll have a link directly to that recipe so you can see exactly how she does her paints and pigments. And if you want to thin your pigments, thin them with water. If you have paints with this consistency, thin them with the Josanya varnish. Don't mix it up. Do not, you know, put the water in the paints. Use the Josanya varnish. Okay, so now on to flooding my canvas with my teal colored paint which is really really pretty yeah that's a beautiful color to have as the base because as the painting dries you'll get tinges of that color through the whole painting which is really cool mm -hmm. I just think it adds a little pizzazz to your creations I mean that's that's what I think I mean, you might, you don't have to agree with me, but that's just my opinion. Now, you haven't done a hexagon in a long time. I don't know if I've ever yeah, done one. Yeah, you, you've you done one or two, but they were maybe close to a year ago. It's got to be at least yeah. because I don't even remember it. Well, you know, <laughs> when you get my age, things come and go pretty quick. Well, Kathy is an affiliate of... Arteza paints and KS resin and also the color art primary element pigments and you can get some very nice discounts uh, if you need some supplies and I'll have a direct link uh, to those companies uh, in our description box. That yeah that you can save quite a bit which is great. Oh I'm gonna put a little bit more in here for our so yeah, this is sort of the new twist you're doing with, with blooms because you're doing, well, a couple new twists. You're doing the colored vase and you're doing the drizzle and then you're finally doing the bloom. Correct. And uh, it gives it some really neat. And you know, this is, you know, come on baby, let's do the twist chubby checker. <laughs> You know, I always have to get my singing debut in there, Phil. You know how that goes. Well, that's it wouldn't true. be me. 
You're just thankful that I'm not whistling because I whistle all the time. You do. I know, and I don't even realize I'm doing it. And Phil says I do it mostly when I'm cooking. Yeah, you do. You whistle a lot while you're cooking. You must be happy. I am happy. Well, you do. You love cooking, so that, that makes you happy. Well, I am happy. I mean, why would I be sad? I wake up. I'm alive. I get to do one of my favorite things, paint. I get to hang out with you. So well, there you go. Well, hanging out with me definitely uh, is a happy thing. It is. For me, anyways. Hanging out with yourself, you mean? No, you were hanging out oh. with me. <laughs> it may, I thought maybe, you know, it kind of sounded like you liked hanging out with yourself. I'm thinking, oh, well, okay. What am I, just a piece of dirt? <laughs> Here we're doing this drizzle mishmash. Yeah, I, I come up with these things while I'm sleeping. And the last one... Uh, no, you didn't put hardly any in the middle. No, I know. Well, that's where the bloom goes. Anyway. Correct. Yes. You're catching on, Phil. I am. I'm, I'm finally understanding something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the Spanish moss and the olive vine, which is pretty. And uh, take a look at our red bubble. Uh, there's some really cool things that you can get well, on there. There's. You um, might not understand what Redbubble Red is, a company where Kathy uh, uploaded images of her creations, and then you can get those images on a wide variety of products. You know, it's a hoodies, phone cases, backpacks. Skirts. Oh, yeah, skirts, tops, T-shirts. It's really oh. cool. It's just fun to go in there and mix and match the oh, different because yeah. here's a pillow that Phil and I oh yeah and I also this pillow ordered, was from Redbubble I also ordered some uh, postcards well they're actually like notes and they're all plain in the inside so you can write anything you want like a thank you note or that's actually an image of one of Kathy's uh, coasters that she did and she uploaded that image and uh, the, the pillow is really nice because you can unzip it and wash it and it's very nice quality. Their products are nice quality and the prices are very reasonable. Yeah, they really are. I mean, you can get prints, anything. I mean, uh, shower curtains, bath rugs, <laughs> um, comforters. It's like when I first saw it, I'm thinking, wow, you can, you can get anything you want. Puzzle, you can actually get a puzzle. Yeah, that would be cool. And... Uh, so I'm going to order a, actually one of a 500-piece puzzle with one of her images on there. Well, don't expect me to uh, help you out because I'm not a good puzzle person. No. Okay. Okay, so you've done the drizzle. Okay, so you've got the base down of teal. Mm-hmm. You've done the drizzle. And now you're going to do a bloom in the middle. We should have some music going. <laughs> hey people, um, I'll let you in on a little uh, secret. I used to play the organ. <clears throat> and uh, I taught myself. And well, my you had lessons. At first I taught myself. Okay. I, every day after school, this was before you knew me, Phil. You had no idea that I existed. I um, would go to the Con Organ Center and I would play the organ after school and my mom when I got home I said mom I know how to play the organ but I'll continue that story after so anyways this is Palmyra pigment and this is our first color in our bloom oh I'm just gonna dump this it's easier well I'll just continue the story you did so you anyways up playing, playing at uh, weddings and and uh, what do you, what do you call I it? played at style shows. Oh, yeah, style shows and things like that. And yeah. it's funny because my mom, she did not believe me when I told her when I came home and I said, I want an organ because I know how to play the organ. And she said, no, you don't. I said, yeah, I do. So she went to the Con Organ Center with me and her mouth dropped. She could not believe that I did that. And uh, she did buy me an organ and I had to play it full blast in the neighborhood because everybody wanted to hear me play. And uh, 
then I had lessons and people asked me to play at their weddings and the style shows and my oh. favorite my favorite one that you played and I always asked you to play was the beer barrel polka everybody <laughs> liked that I'm telling you I had to play that blasting in the neighborhood because the neighbors all wanted to hear it and then they would be dancing it's like okay I was their Saturday night entertainment I guess and that that was it was fun I had a lot of fun doing that I don't play it anymore but I hmm. haven't forgotten how to play it so what color is that this one is the red orange and the orange papaya oh yeah and I, as you can see, I'm putting quite a bit on because this has to be a pretty good size bloom because I want it to hit the edges. Yeah, that's true. It's this is hot cinnamon. It's mm -hmm. hot, hot cinnamon, baby. This ought to be something because I can't wait to see. these. Some of these colors are out of my comfort mm -hmm. zone. And uh, the reason for the drizzle all around is because that does add some different effects to the bloom once it stretches out so it's kind of a nice another little twist to a bloom pour yes it is i'm gonna have to bring that back in the middle kathy has done a lot of different types of pours um, she's done dutch pours and flip cups and of course drizzles and blooms and i'm not sure what else it, but we do have playlists of all those types of pours, so you can see a kind of a grouping together of all her, say, coaster pours or drizzle pours and so forth. So check, check out our playlist. Okay, let me see if I got big bubbles. Oh, yeah, I can see a couple of them. And now we're going to put our black cell activator on. We're going to blow this little puppy out. see what happens you want to get those big bubbles because otherwise they're gonna be not too good I think I oh, here's another one I always have to bend down like this because then I can see them better sideways if you bend down sideways you can see them then I get my hair in my mouth and then I get paint on my face and I look like yeah. a geek not that I am a geek but <laughs> sometimes I am a geek Okay, now that's your cell activator. Correct. It's my black cell activator. Black paint and Floetrol. Correct. And you just put it in the center, and then the object is going to be to kind of just blow it over the paints, correct? Correct. Okay. Okay, we got that in the center. Okay, now I'm going to get my handy dandy dryer, and we're going to just see what happens. cells Phil. Yeah. You oh. didn't want to blow it more uh, some more this way? I don't want to lose the cells so I'm gonna tip it. Okay. All right. Yeah I don't want to lose these beautiful cells. I got a lot. No I'm gonna blow it with my uh, this. Because when we spin it it's gonna it'll, okay. it's gonna well, make it I can tell. It's just that uh, the other areas already had some of the petals formed, and that didn't. So. Well, petal, petal. <laughs> petal your metal. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Look at all those nice colors. Wow, very vibrant. Holy cow. This is going to be vibrant, let me tell you. If I should put a little bit more cell activator here and blow a little bit. Oh, no, I don't hmm. okay. no, I don't want to. No, I don't, no, so. I, I don't I want to. I'm going to leave it. We're 
we're good. If you, if you fool with it a little too much, then it kind of, you can... I know. I'll be cayenne. <laughs> cayenne. Cayenne pepper. Okay, so... They're still coming up. So in the meantime, everybody, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. And um, when these other uh, paintings that I've done, my other creations are dry, I'm going to show them because I'm, today I'm going to be doing varnish and resin, both things. So stay tuned for the dried things because a lot of people want to see it dry. <laughs> things. I know things. My creations. I know, I, it's just a habit. Okay, so you ready, Phil? Yes. Okay. okay. Ah! I'm getting better at spinning that left way. Let me tell you. That's right. Practice. Practice makes perfect. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, that's very nice. This is really cool. I really like this. I'm a little disappointed, oh. unless you can uh, tip it, that you got Down everything sort of at the top. That's why I'm going to try to tip it a little. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see, it's going to go. Very slowly. As you can see, that teal color is peeking through, and as it dries, it actually comes through a little more. So uh, that's the purpose of having a colored base, is to get sort of an overall tint in the back of the painting. Kind of looks like a peacock. Yeah. And yeah. you don't have to get all that white off. It's just no. I'm not going to. I just of, want to bring some down. Yeah, it does because it. I, I like how it's actually stretching the, the cells. cells. I like that too. Which is nice. It's really pretty. You can see the, these colors are pretty. Yeah, they are very pretty. I like this. You can probably see it better if I hold it like this because it's not as glary, right? No, I can see it before. Oh. Yeah, we can see it real good. As you can see the paint slowly moving. That's what it's supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really creating a neat center. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. That is very cool. I would say that's the bottom, I think. Yes. Yes. That's really pretty. Yes, it is. It's just very different. The colors are just very, very different. I would say, is it possible just to get a little more, get it more down, more of that off? We'll see. I think if we can do that. We'll see. It's really going to... Because the, the stretching is actually not hurting the composition. It's mm -mm. actually making it very nice. It's making it more interesting. Yes. Oh, I can see the pigment colors, uh, how they sparkle. Yeah. Try to get a close-up of this. As you can see, there's that teal coming through every once in a while. I think you've got it there, Kathy. How's that? Very nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that turned that's out. That's really cool. Nice. And actually, I think I'd have this corner down at the bottom if I, if this? I was hanging it. Yeah, I was, I was hanging it. I don't know where you want right. it. Facing me. Yeah. Here? Here. Yeah. Yes. You want yes. it like this? Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, of course, this. Something like this, you can hang all kinds of different ways. But Here, we'll have it like this. That way you can see it better. Yeah. Yeah, that, I, that's really pretty. 
Turned out very nice. I like it like that too. Yeah. I'd yeah. hang it like that too. Exactly. I mean, you can hang it however you like it, but that's just mine and Phil's opinion. I would hang it with this yes. way. So everybody, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment. And uh, please subscribe to our channel. Share this if you'd like. And um, until the next time, you never know what we're going to be doing next or what stories we're going to be telling. So I always leave a couple, you know, cat out of the bags of my life. And so I hope you enjoy them. And I hope you like Phil and I. And please subscribe. And until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy. And thank you for joining us. Have a great one. Bye.